Hello, brave souls of the internet, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a spine-tingling tale that will send shivers down your spine and haunt your dreams. But before we dive into the terrifying narrative, I want to emphasize that what you're about to hear is not just another work of fiction. No, this is a real-life horror story based on true events that unfolded in the darkest corners of our world, the haunting of the Waverly Mansion. In a quiet corner of the American South, nestled amidst the dense Mississippi woods stood the Waverly Mansion. This grand antebellum estate, with its ornate architecture and sprawling gardens, had long been a source of fascination for locals and tourists alike. Yet, behind its majestic facade, a chilling tale of the supernatural awaited those who dared to delve deeper. The story began in the mid-19th century, when the mansion was constructed by Colonel William Clark Faulkner, great-grandfather of the famous author William Faulkner. The mansion was a testament to grandeur, boasting a staggering 29 rooms, breathtaking chandeliers, and exquisite hand-carved details. But as history tells, the Faulkner family's opulent life was overshadowed by a dark secret. It all started with Sarah, the youngest Faulkner daughter, known for her ethereal beauty and quiet demeanor. She was a recluse, seldom seen outside the mansion's confines, and her presence within the family raised many eyebrows. As rumors swirled about her strange behavior, one theory prevailed. Sarah was in love with a mysterious suitor from a rival family a love deemed forbidden. One fateful night, the family was awoken by a series of blood-curdling screams. Rushing to Sarah's room, they found it empty, the windows flung open, curtains billowing in the wind. Desperate searches turned up nothing, and soon, hope gave way to despair. Sarah had vanished without a trace. As years passed, the mansion's once grand halls fell into disrepair. The air grew heavy with an eerie presence, and strange occurrences plagued the Faulkner descendants. Residents of the nearby town began to speak in hushed tones about ghostly apparitions, inexplicable sounds, and the feeling of being watched while walking past the mansion at night. Visitors to the Waverly Mansion reported encounters that chilled their souls. Some claimed to have heard a woman's voice singing mournful melodies in the dead of night. Others spoke of seeing a figure dressed in a white gown gliding through the gardens. An unsettling coldness gripped those who ventured inside, as if unseen hands reached out to pull them deeper into the mansion's haunted past. The most terrifying tale involved a historian who had come to research the mansion's history. Late one night, as he pored over ancient documents in the dimly lit library, he felt an icy breath against his neck. Turning slowly, he was met with the ghostly visage of a young woman, her eyes hollow and her lips twisted into an eerie smile. He fled the mansion that very night, leaving his research and sanity behind. But perhaps the most chilling revelation came when an old diary was discovered hidden in the mansion's walls. It belonged to Sarah, and its pages spoke of her forbidden love affair with a man from a rival family, whom she was set to elope with on that fateful night. The diary ended abruptly, its final entry reading, He calls to me from beyond the veil. I must join him. To this day, the Waverly Mansion stands as a chilling testament to a love lost in the shadows, and Sarah's restless spirit is said to wander the mansion's halls forever searching for her lost love. The haunting of the Waverly Mansion serves as a spine-tingling reminder that some secrets are so deep, they echo through the centuries, leaving a legacy of terror for those who dare to uncover them.